Discussion on ACE inhibitors and anemia. Angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors have been implicated in the worsening of anemia in patients with chronic kidney disease on dialysis and renal transplant recipients. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. Both ACE inhibitors and angiotensin receptor blockers have same effect on erythropoietin synthesis and can cause suppression of erythropoiesis in those with CKD. This can sometimes be overcome by escalating the dose of exogenously administered erythropoietin. It is known that activation of renin angiotensin system enhances the production of erythropoietin in peritubular fibroblasts of the kidney. Some studies also suggest that ACE inhibitors and ARBs suppress the effect of erythropoietin while others do not. Ishani and colleagues using the SALT database showed that enlapril increased the odds of incident anemia at one year. Still, enlapril was protective of overall mortality after adjustment for incident anemia. ACE inhibitors have been shown to reduce hemoglobin level in those with post-transplant erythrocytosis, high altitude polycythemia and in those on chronic hemodialysis. In vitro studies have suggested that angiotensin 2 stimulate erythroid precursors through angiotensin 1 receptors on them. ACE inhibitors can lower levels of insulin-like growth factors which are also involved in erythroid stimulation. Yet another mechanism proposed is the inhibition of catabolism of an inhibitor of proliferation of red cell precursors. Another study involving 96 patients with heart failure also concluded that ACE inhibitors are associated with anemia. They noted that perindopril had a higher risk than ramipril when used in heart failure patients in their study. Here are a couple of relevant journal references. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.